Drunk Fish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Drunk Fish Gaming. I'm Fighting Drunk. And I'm Lord Jim the Fish. And today we're talking to you about elves. So first up, we have got Nightiel. Uh, please don't judge the fact <laughs> I've got over 300 shards and not unlocked. <laughs> I just haven't got round to it yet. Doesn't want to spend the 90k, even though... <laughs> but it's going to be 90k plus a load of other just to get to maybe six yeah. star. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what I'm missing out on. <laughs> yeah. Moon and star basic ability deals 240% of magic damage to an enemy, 50% chance to deal damage through a shield. So that's really going to help, especially if you've just got a character down to the last bit of health and someone's throwing a shield on them. Get straight through that. A useful ability. Hopefully, get the kill. <laughs> ha. You're gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna really be right? out here. <laughs> Veil of Silence deals 420% of magic damage to an enemy, an ability block for two turns. So that is significant damage output. Right. Ability number three. Midnight Glow. I like that. Gains a damage increase and applies it to all allies for two turns. So it's really going to help the damage output on your team. Uh, we have got a passive ability here. Nigel removes one debuff from herself and Solius, and one buff from a random enemy at the start of a turn. If Solius is on the battlefield, remove two buffs instead. So Solius we won't be covering in this video as he sits in humans. Mm. They must have a thing together, those two. Yeah. Invoking the Moon Leadership Ability. That's an interesting title. Mm. All allied elves gain 20% accuracy. Upon landing a critical hit, they restore 10% of their max health. Upon landing a fatal blow, they res restore 25% of their max health. So it's going to be hitting more often and healing up when they get the crits. So yeah, I can I, actually. I, I I'm feeling like actually she's not amazing. So I think she's really good. I'll definitely be unlocking her. I'm just waiting. Just when you've got, got the money seven, left to invest, seven, yeah. seven stars worth. Yes, yeah. another twenty six shards to go. Mm. So, um, uh, Illyria, I think, isn't it? That's her name. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, a nice. Uh, th this is your starter uh, starter healer. So the first one you start with. Um, so first. Ability, so Magic Arrow, so deals 190% of magic damage to an enemy, inflicts a potency decrease for three turns. But that only really comes in from level two, isn't it? I think, uh, was it, is it from the start? Oh no, yeah, no, from level, level two. two. Yeah, that's right. So, um, Mass Healing, so um, heals all allies for 350% of Illyria's uh, magic damage. Um, so yeah, just standard across the whole team healing. So it's actually sort of middling in terms of the amount of um, health that's given back, but it's incredibly useful. Yeah. Standard healer. Good. So, Star Orb um, deals 350% of magical damage to an enemy, heals the lowest health ally by 50% of the magic uh, of the damage dealt. So, actually, that's really quite good. Um, that's a lot of magic damage, um, and then gives some health back. Then we have the um, Power of Nature. So, Illyria gains a 25% magic damage increase and an additional 5% for each living elf in the party. So, first one that we're seeing synergies with other elves. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, Sengiel. This sort of looks like a green Gandalf, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I. That's pretty what I much. When I looked at him. So sunshine, what a nice name for an ability. Mm. Deals one hundred and ninety percent of magic damage to an enemy and inflicts burning for two turns. <sighs> that's yeah. sunburn right there. That is definitely some sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sunshine. That's that should be called sun sunburn. Uh, we'll suggest yeah. that. Yeah, a <laughs> little bit of feedback. Natural Regeneration, ability number two. Applies two stacks of regeneration to the three lowest health allies for two turns. Brilliant ability. So you don't yeah. even have to think about who you're going to apply it to. It mm -hmm. will just go for the lowest health. Though, one thing to think about is someone might have the lowest health, but be almost full health. Mm. If you see what I mean. If they've got a lower base health pool, they might end up getting it over someone that might need it a bit more maybe your tanks mm -hmm. so something to consider on that one ability number three restore heals the targeted ally by 500 percent of sendio's magic damage 
applies regeneration for four turns. <laughs> I so think this is the that, highest. That, that's highest the deal most that we've healing. Seen. Yeah, yeah. And then that person is not going to die for at least four turns, five sure. turns, whatever it is. Yeah. So, throw magic damage on this guy, and he's really going to be healing quite a lot. Plus mm. regeneration, madness. Good healer. And then wisdom of nature. Senjul gets a ten percent magic damage increase for each regeneration stack on his allies. That's an interesting one. Yeah. If you get a few healers in the party, you get a lot of regeneration going. It's really gonna increase his magic damage and therefore increase his um, heal that he does. Yeah, if we go back to the previous ability, um, how long does that take to reset? That's four turns. Three turns, so yeah, so you four. could, yeah, three or four. Um, Oh, so yeah, so then you know you would get yeah. you know potentially one turn where you've got a lot of magic damage when you've got a couple of players. Yeah. Yeah. I just think having a load of healers on the battlefield would be quite yeah, an no, interesting one with this guy. Yeah, is that an egg in his little? Um, I wish we could it zoom. Looks like it, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah. Is that there an egg or a testicle? <laughs> I feel for the the testicle. <laughs> you feel for testicles. The testicle. Okay. Yeah. I'll sit further away next time. <laughs> right, so um, is this Kelrian? Yeah, like so that. very much a defender, big shield. Right, so first ability is Cutting Blade, so deal 180% of physical damage to an enemy, guaranteed to land a critical hit on the lowest health target. So not a lot of damage um, for damage dealers, but this guy is not meant for that. Um, but with a critical hit, at least that gives a bit more damage. So... Dual challenge gains taunt and tenacity, tenacity increase for two turns, removes two debuffs and recovers twenty five percent health. So um, a pretty standard taunt, I think. Yeah. 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 Pretty Looks right. standard. Um, so glaive throw so deals one hundred ninety percent of physical damage to all enemies, and then seventy five percent chance to inflict a armor decrease for two turns. So pretty good, uh, all round sort of um, splash damage. Gonna ability. help your allies deal a bit more damage as well. Yeah. So uh, magic immunity. So uh, Kelrian um, deals a twenty five percent magic armor uh, increase plus twenty five percent magic armor increase plus five percent for each living elf in the party. Yeah, more elf synergy. Lots of armor. Okay. We have then got sharp. This is his haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Very sharp. let's not judge that. I don't <laughs> think I'm in a place to judge that. <laughs> Apart from the beards. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, ability number one, Spin Kick, deals 250% of physical damage to an enemy, a 50% chance to inflict armor decrease for two turns. Not bad for the first ability. So, damage deal good, this one. Good, good basic. Wombo Combo, what a name. Attacks the enemy three times. Each attack deals 150% of physical damage. It'd be nice to see that stacking up for each hit he scores. Mm. So, you say, deal 150. If the second one hits, it deals 200. If mm. the third, that type of thing would be nice to see. Really makes the combo part of it, part of the name, a bit more interactive with actually what it does. But that isn't the case. Critical thinking. This isn't just a catchphrase from work. <laughs> So gains a crit chance increase and applies it to all allies for two turns. Sharp gains critical damage increase for two turns. So yes, yeah, so this one is useful at, when it's level six, but at the start, it's a bit disappointing. Um, I, find I, I, I feel like that second much. sentence isn't necessary. Yeah, it when it applies to all allies. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just repeat <laughs> to the whole team. Crit chance and then crit damage. That's oh, yeah. yeah. Good reading skills. Thank you. Okay, and daily training, the passive ability, he gains 30% crit chance increase. Also critting. So crit damage runes on him should really help. Mm. So one, wonder, is it wonder? Wonder Lula. Yeah. The broken character in the game at the moment. Broken? Her ability isn't working as it should. Oh, pointing. So wonder shot, um, so deals 200%. And 20% of physical damage to an enemy and if the target has more health left than Luna, Lula this attack will deal 300% physical damage this attack deals 50% more critical damage so the bit that's broken at the time of recording obviously is it does 220% damage but instead of doing 300 it adds 300 hmm. 
So it's five fifty or five hundred and twenty percent. That's pretty good. That's why she's really hitting a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, that's something that they are looking to fix though. So. so next is piercing shot. So it deals three hundred and ninety percent of physical damage to an enemy. This attack penetrates the shield, and guaranteed to deal a critical hit uh, if used while invisible. Very useful. So the demon, what was it, Kaara, the one that I'm really bad at saying, her invisibility is really going to help out with this. Mm. It would be interesting to see those two working together. So um, gains invisibility and applies it to all allied healers, tacticians and fighters for two turns, so pretty much all elves generally, apart from the tank. Yeah, so... Or the defender. I feel like that is exactly the same as the ability on Kiara. Mm. I'm going to just keep saying it wrong. Okay. Deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, right, demonic Scourge. Um, so, uh, Wanda Lula um, deals 25% more damage for each living demon in the enemy's party. Yeah. So if you're fighting other demons, Ooh. useful. Yeah, so, so decent character there. Good old Wanda Lula. Oh, the lane. We'll go with that. Yep. So Those blades looks, are cool. That looks like night elf style just yeah. looks like a, a rogue mm -hmm. <laughs> classed as a rogue so there you go. they've done a good job with that mm. dirty trick deals 250% of physical damage to an enemy dazes the enemy for two turns so strong start from that ability uh, we've then got the second ability shadow strike deals 440% of physical damage to an enemy blocks healing and applies buff immunity for two turns so that's really going to be a hindrance then especially I think if you were to target a tank with that then you're not going to be able to taunt at that point mm -hmm. if you're facing someone in the arena the AI is probably not going to be as sensible as to not use the taunt mechanic when they've got buff immunity so they might end up wasting it giving you a longer time to just go all out on other characters Is that the one we just did? Yeah. Blade? Fury, yes. Hatred. Hatred. Okay, passive ability. Debuffing an enemy gives Thelaine 20% turn meter and an additional 4% turn meter for each debuff she applied this turn. Mm. So I'm not sure how this one works. Is that if anyone in your party debuffs an enemy, she gains 20% turn meter? And then she gains more turn meter during her turn for each debuff she's applied. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if she apply takes off a debuff, yeah. So I feel like sense. if someone else in your party was to debuff the enemy, mm. she's going to go quicker. Interesting. But I thought it doesn't mention any of the allies though. Not it's just gen generic gen debuffing an enemy. Okay. It doesn't say it's got to be done by her. Mm. So. That would be an interesting one to test. And then leadership ability, secret leader. I feel like it's not a well-kept secret because it's quite obvious. <laughs> All allied elves receive a 30% increase to their crit chance, recover 5% of their turn meter upon landing a critical hit, and have a 50% chance to restore one turn of a random ability. So was it Sharp that was doing all the critical damage earlier? Yes, very much critical. He is really going to benefit from this leadership. Mm. Um, something to have a think about. Yeah. Okay. And we're back to the start. It. Nightiel, who you're going to unlock. Let's, let's not have her on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the uh, end of this video. So um, if you've liked the video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you uh, feel like you want to see these videos um, as soon as they come out, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. Um, and yeah, so um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Drunk Fish Gaming.